I'm not trying to be a hater. It's just things that have been on my mind before I started a YouTube channel, right? So, we are not all going to retire in our 20s. We still need our doctors, our lawyers, our judges, and all the people that make this world run. We need people like that. That's why education is very important. Now, everybody wants to live that life. Everybody wants to be that girl. Everybody wants to live this luxurious life, flying in first class and doing all sorts. And so everywhere you turn, there's somebody selling a digital product. Last time I checked, there was this woman who has been so allegedly i don't know if it's true or not but allegedly selling um, um a digital uh, course to women on how to become more feminine for eleven thousand dollars that is just ridiculous i feel like people are just coming people to become wealthy a few weeks ago i saw this lady on uh, youtube who is uh, also selling a digital product helping women to become goddesses really really you want to become a goddess and it's like around 200 or 300 dollars and she's going to coach you into becoming a goddess this um book right here is pink but the light is making it look a certain way but from here right you can see it if i package this book with a nice pen that says boss babe or something like that right and i create a digital product on how to become the best version of yourself will you go buy it it will only be for ten dollars so that I can also go and retire and buy a nice mansion for myself and my three children. Will you do that? Now, I love my self-care gurus. All this self-care here, self-care there, I love it. Okay, I love taking a good shower and having a great time in the bathroom. But lately, I've been seeing like 10 steps, 15 steps, 25 steps. Like, really? And also, do you need all these racks and racks and racks of perfumes, of... um? Um, dove lotions and tree heart scrubs to make yourself feel good and also do they not expire I'm just asking for a friend because I'm curious do they not expire everywhere I turn there's this influencer somewhere with a, a floor to ceiling shelf with a dove product they go into the shower and they, they do about 16 steps before they get out how clean is clean how many times do you clean yourself a day and how many times how many steps do you take in the shower to feel like you are clean? Really? How many perfumes do you need a day? Do perfumes expire? I don't know. Please tell me. I'm just asking for, for a friend. I'm asking for a friend. Do perfumes expire? All these uh, body scrubs, do they expire? Do you go back to sell them? Because it's gotten so bad to the point that there are people who are going shopping like a weekly basis to go and gather like big trolleys filled with uh, toiletries. And I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you taking all this wash, uh, washing up uh, soaps and creams and, and butters and lotions? Why are you taking them too? How many times do you bath a day? Do you guys return it? Fake girlfriends, right? Fake girlfriend. Like, everybody wants to have this group of girls all because we want to go on girls trip. And time and time and time again, people are coming back. When people don't have money, they can't afford the uh, trip. Uh, people went to places with the hope of meeting guys to help them and it backfired and people even got killed and still till today people are still forcing themselves to be in a girl group is it by force like can't you travel on your own right with the people that know you do you have to have like a big group of friends to feel that you have also accomplished something and i have nothing against friendship but if it's not genuine you have to force it it's like why who are you doing it for okay going on trips with people that you don't even like just to prove that what you have girl bosses in your group going on trip with people that you don't know just to prove something because you are seeing certain influencers doing it my dear most of these girls they are being paid to go on trips so okay they are being paid to go on trip so cut your coat according to your cloth the year is almost ending we shouldn't hear anything at all mm -hmm. you go when you are going on this trip go alone or find somebody that can afford it and go with them or a book your own thing don't go and then come back and then there's drama and everywhere we are talking about girls that have gone on girl strip and things when going south now this one i know somebody will slap me in the face for saying that but like why does everybody have a white couch what happened to the other colored couches is it that there's like a 
a place where um like they build all these couches and they give it to certain influencers and i'm not hating i feel like if i don't have a white couch i've not made it in life i have to somehow find money to go and buy a white couch do we all need white couches like people like do something else like why is the authentic authenticity people were authentic back in the day you could see different backgrounds and now everybody is doing the same thing the same thing people should come up with something else manifestation gurus i feel like at this point in time it's dying down a bit but people are still using manifesting manifesting and if you like this video and want to see the second part let me see, let me know manifestation gurus all these people that come on youtube right and create a video and uh, to show you how to manifest your dream life do you believe them so on how to manifest your dream life and do this five things step before you sleep and then your life is going to transform right and then i've noticed that under all these videos they have like several thousands and thousands of views but nobody asked the question <laughs> How are these people manifesting their lives? Okay, how are these people manifesting their own lives? They are manifesting their lives by manipulating you into thinking that watching this video is going to change your own life. Because you watching the video is getting them AdSense money. Okay, and so I don't believe in manifestation. To be honest, I don't. I don't. I've tried manifesting a few things. To be honest, it, it was pure coincidence manifestation mm, not so much okay and i feel like people are pushing it too much okay get your dream husband your dream job your dream life your dream this before you sleep envision yourself close your eyes and envision yourself whilst you fall asleep and it is going to happen the next day okay maybe that's why i've not been able to manifest my life because i don't believe in it but do you have unpopular opinions Please keep the comment section respectful. Don't come for me. Please don't unsubscribe or share this video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye.